Alright, hello guys, this is Rafinski, and in this tutorial I will show you guys how to create a facial expression, like a smile or angry face or any kind of facial expression that you like. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. You have your finished model or um, right here. And um, first step you want to do is create a folder called animations preferably in the model folder that you already have and once you've done that you click over here in the search bar and type in custom this will show up a custom overwrite empty right here and we press ctrl and D to duplicate and we drag it right into the animations folder that we just created and um, we rename it. We rename it because when we type in custom next time we will have both the original and the duplicate and we don't want that because that might um, confuse you at some point. We just rename it to however we want. Um, Yato smile. Anything really. Or Yato animations. And now what we want to do is create a duplicate of the original model too and we hide the original because we don't want both of them displayed we just hide it with the little box over here so we only have to duplicate right now and I like to rename it to duplicate too to dummy smile you can make 20 duplicates and or whatever we we are creating a duplicate of the original because um, when we start working on animations as soon as we start the model goes into a animation pose and when he does that it can happen that it gets stuck in that pose so you won't be able to get the T pose anymore without um, some tools like the pumpkin avatar tools which I recommend but anyway um, when you're stuck in the post mode that's a, a bummer you can't upload and if you can upload um, your model is just a complete mess without the t-pose anyway we got the dummy smile and what we want to do is create um, a animation right here create and go all the way down animation and call it smile because we're trying to do a smile right now we drag this one on the dummy and this will create something this here the animation um, I, I don't even know what this is but ignore it um, yeah we open the animation we go on window and click here animation or control 6 this will pop up a window right here for you and you can click on the little tabs like this one and drag it down here I like to drag it down here or to the right how wherever you like it I like it down here and when it's down here we want to click on our model or uh, on our dummy and click on the record button this will put it in the post mode that I was talking about earlier and once we're in the recording um, mode we click on our model and open it up click on body and for you guys it will look like this and as you can see there's blend shapes right here and we want to click on the arrow to open it up and once we open it up you can see all the blend shapes it will start with the VR chat uh, visims and the blinks if you created them in Blender and then it will go to the eyes and a little bit up it goes to the mouth uh, stuff and then sometimes there's special stuff down here most of the time um, on many models they stay the same like blink and blink happy and I don't know ah, ch, u, all these stay the same um, as a regular MMD preset so blink happy when we want to do a smile blink happy is the most important one I think I mean it looks the best I guess 
we click on blink happy on the zero and we change the value to 100 sometimes the, the character jumps around um, most of the time he does that on the first time we change something he jumps back up on the t-pose and we can see we changed blink happy to 100 and the eyes changed and closed to a smile um, position I guess uh, hold on let me remove the little balls the spheres so we got the blink happy on and when you're happy with this already then you just c you can just move to the next step but I want to change the mouth too so we scroll down um, and we select something that y you see the, the second time you added something he jumps back down I don't know why <laughs> exactly he does that but uh, yeah okay we can change um, the values on the mouth stuff here smile we just put this on 100 and he's really happy yay and um, once we've done that we want to put this on a finger on a um, command there's um, a few commands like the p the default ones are the peace sign the the thumbs up the fist and all that the palm the empty palm and uh, what I always do when when I want to do the happy face I put it on on the peace command on the peace sign you can just keep the hand like this but as soon as you press the peace command your hand will take this shape and not the peace shape so if you want to recreate a peace shape we want to use a tool called muscle animation editor if you don't have this one you can buy it if you don't want to buy it I can put a free copy um, in the description that you may use I got the one from a friend blink blink wink wink and um, yeah, I'll just put it in the description if you don't want it, if you don't manage to get it working, anything like that. I will include include a um, video on how to do this next step without the muscle animation editor. And there's a video about someone that made this already in a different way. Um, but yeah, it's not that hard. But if you have muscle animation editor, that's cool. We open it up. Um, it will be a window here uh, like earlier with the animation you can drag the tab over here to the right I like it over here and what we want to do go on options open up the circles the spheres and uh, you can just they're probably already um, on anyway so you can change the bond size and stuff anyway what we want to do is open up the bones to the left hand so spine chest left shoulder left arm elbow wrist and middle finger we want to double click it so the camera gets fixated on the finger by itself so we can zoom in easily to the finger and we can hold alt and left click to roll uh, to yeah rotate around the finger easily um, with this method it's it's re really handy when you're working a lot with um, or a long time with the fingers so what you want to do is make a peace sign right now you can either click on the fingers and make position them all um, with this slider over here um, click here and pull it down but that will take a bit of time so we're just gonna use the numbers on the right over here um, it will probably be on body. You, you click on fingers and you see all the fingers um, left thumb, right thumb. We're just going to use the left one right now. And what I like to do is just put every one on minus one. And on the left hand, we don't want to, the right, want to work on the right hand because we can just copy these uh, when we are done. So when it's a close fist, we can now change the fingers for the peace sign to a peace sign yeah I don't know what I just said but you probably understood what I meant 
we change the value to 0.78. That makes it um, make a straight line. We, you can also go a bit lower to, to just 0.7. And middle one also 0.7. This makes a peace sign. You can also, like I said, click on the balls and adjust it a little bit, however you like it. And as you can see, my thumb is a bit out of place and my fingers here too. I'm not, not going to fix it right now because I'm just going to show you guys how to do it basically. And as you can see, my thumb is already on minus one, but it's so far away from my palm, right? And if you want to um, do it more than minus one, you go here down in the list. You see when you click on this, left thumb proximal thumb spread doesn't go more than minus one. Or thumb, stre <coughs> thumb stretch doesn't go more than minus one. You can slide it a bit around and then you can see on the bottom left, this is how you find it easily, this number changes. Or you look at left thumb proximal and you scroll this down and you see left and thumb and then yeah one I guess uh, yeah def one should be the should be this one right yeah okay so it's a minus one you can change it to minus three or minus five minus four minus whatever you want make sure you don't have uh, this here open, left fingers, because when you click on this uh, it will set it on minus one again because it doesn't go more than minus one so I recommend um, remembering that number because we want to copy th this on the right hand right now we click on left fingers, the fingers that we work on, we scroll down and copy values to, values to the mirror side Boom same as on the other hand now and if you want to do the trick with the minus three we click on body or anywhere else than the fingers go back to the fingers minus three and do the same on the right hand right thumb minus three boom thumb is fixed and fingers are set in a piece position we're basically done with working on the fingers when we're done with um, making the smile and the fingers we click on we scroll all the way up and we click on the top diamond. If you have more diamonds here, delete all of them except the first ones here. And we click on the top one. This will select every single one in this line. And we press Control C to copy. Go to the first frame. You see all the frames here in the timeline. Go to the first frame, number one, and Control V to paste. Once that is done, we are done with the animation. Click on record again. You can hide this and hide the spheres again. And we're done with the animation, working on it, the smile one. We can hide the dummy again. Go back to the project. Unhide the original. And we open the overwrite that we copied earlier, that we duplicated that we called Yato Animations Override and we drag the smile onto the victory because victory is the peace sign I will put a screenshot right here to show you all the controls on keyboard and what they're called uh, yeah that's basically it Put the smile on victory. Now every time we do the peace sign in game, do the command, uh, we do the smile. And yeah, we still have to direct the override over here to the animation. Custom standing animation. It's in the descriptor. You open this one up. Uh, we see right here standing animation. Direct the override right here, the override is this here. Click on model, 
custom standing, drag it in there. We don't want it on a sitting, or at least I don't want it, because when you do animations when you're sitting on a chair in VR chat, as soon as you stand up, um, your animation will get stuck, and your face is just stuck in that facial expression, and you won't get it. Make uh, you won't be able to get it away until you change your model and go back to the model again. So we just keep this off, and we're done. This is, this was it. We save Control S. Uh, we upload it. Uh, I would create a new. Uh, where is it? Oh, I'm not logged in. That's weird. Um, yeah, I would put a new pipeline uh, blueprint so you don't overwrite the original with the animations. So you want to have one model without animations and one with. I don't know. Um, I just keep it like that every time. Okay, that was it. Hope I could help any of you guys. Um, of course, like I always say, I'm not a I'm not a pro. I'm <laughs> I know the basics, and I'm happy to show the basics to the people that don't want to s or don't know about all the basics or don't want to learn them from a 30 minutes video. Uh, if you have any tips, advice, feel free to tell me about them. I'm I'm always happy to get more help for myself too and uh, what else did I want to say yeah if you need any help um, add me on discord uh, put most of the time my discord into the description and uh, I, I would be really happy to help any of you guys that are struggling with anything and yeah that's it uh, I hope you guys could follow along, and I hope this wasn't too long now. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.